Hello everyone, welcome back to another Diecast Emporium video. Today we're going to be doing an in-depth review of the brand new for 2023 Diecast Masters Core Classic Series Caterpillar Mega MWT30 Mining Water Truck in 150th scale. Now this model has previously been released by Norse God about 15 years or so ago, but we really haven't seen much of it since then, so it's nice to see it get an upgrade. Because part of the Core Classics line, it comes in the brown outer shipping box that you see in front of you. 85276C, C for Core Classics, denotes that this is a dead giveaway, this being a Core Classic series model. All right. It seems as though the U.S. Customs and Border Protection was as excited about this model as I am. They appeared to open it and go through it before it arrived to me. But... You're not going to have that there more than likely, so cut the tape, the Diecast Masters tape here, open up one end, and that allows us to get to the model and the model's actual box. It does help with some of these larger models to end tip it out, just like you've just seen me do. Okay, continuing with the packaging overview. Again, if you're not familiar with the Core Classic Series line by Diecast Masters, they're in this kind of brown or this tan box because that is the style of packaging that the real Caterpillar parts come in, so that's what it's paying homage to. 150 a scale, ages 14 and up, as this is an adult collectible scale model replica, not a toy. You can see that denoted at the bottom. Cat Mega MWT 30 mining truck water tank and the Diecast Masters or replica logo. Here is the top, Cat Core Classics and the item number. On the back, we have a photo of the real water truck spraying some water. And then on the right side of the box, if you are interested in reading about the machine's real information, such as its dimensions, its specifications, and engine detail, feel free to pause the video now. For the rest of us, we're going to continue with the unboxing. Just like a lot of the other Core Classic series models by Diecast Masters, it comes in a plastic pull-apart former. Now, initially, this is taped all the way around. So it would behoove you to take an X-Acto knife or a modeling knife and cut around this before you pull it apart. I have already done that to save us a bit of time. Okay, be careful what you grab onto. There are some potential uh, breakable, fragile pieces in here, so you want to pay attention to what you're doing here. Be very careful. Lift straight up. And your model is complete out of its packaging. This model is pre-assembled with no extra pieces that need to be put onto it. Okay, welcome back everyone. Let's now start the review in earnest by looking at some of the model's details and decals. Probably one of the first things you'll note is the large mega corporation 30,000 gallon water tank. Uh, it looks really good on this truck actually. And this would be perfect for your mining display or your mining collection. As you can see, the decals are very nice and crisp. We have our operator figure behind the wheel of this truck. He is not removable from this model without disassembling the model. Here you have a lot of your spray bars. Looking at the top of the tank, this is where it would be filled up from the top. These plastic top pieces, the accent parts of the tank, look like they should pop off, but in fact, they don't. To the business end of the water truck, you can see this large spray bar assembly. It is metal with the tips of the actual spray nozzles being highlighted with some silver paint. You do have some lifting eyes at the back that are drilled through. Also, you have some lights and other details. Back, you have flexible rubber mud flaps, which look really good, and the truck does have working suspension. You can see the truck is traveling up and down as I push down on it. Other details that may be hard to see, but you do have some lights, work lights, and reverse lights at the back, along with your large rear axle. Now, to the right side of the machine, we have more spray nozzles right here, and one common misconception about these water trucks is that they're only used to spray down the mining roads to keep the dust down. While that is their primary responsibility, they are also used, in some extreme cases, as firefighting vehicles, so here are some of the directional nozzles that can be operated manually, and likewise, they're also used to wash off some of the large mining equipment when it becomes too dirty. Back to the details inside the hubs, you can see how accurately represented they are with different hubs for the different wheels. Moving towards the front, all of the access ladders here and the staircase, all the protection railings, they are metal. You can see how they are not flexing. There's your large grill, some more forward-facing work lights, headlights, the cat logo right here, which is hard to see, but it is 
present underneath the operator's cab, and there's one on the corresponding side as well. All right, taking a look from the top-down view towards the front of the machine, you can see the access stair here to access the tank if need be, as well as your mirrors. The walkways, which again are a little bit hard to see on camera, but even though they aren't etched through, they do have a rough texturing on the top of it to give it the illusion that, in fact, they are. To end the detail and decals, let's take a look at the machine upside down. Here we can see the steering assembly, assembly for the front axle, uh, as well as, once again, an upside-down look at the bottom of the tank and the wheels. And finally, these things at the rear are called rock deflectors, and as its name would imply, they keep large rocks from getting jammed between the wheels on the rear axle. All right, let's take a break. When we come back, we'll finish up the review with functionality and then a final conclusion. For the first part of our functionality test, this is a rubber tired machine, so let's see how well it rolls. Because the model is very, very heavy, the wheels roll very freely. The front axle does have a bit of steering angle. Here you can see I am steering it to either direction. It is stiff. And they do seem to want to steer to the left better than they steer to the right. But as I always like to say, something is better than nothing. Now, some of the smaller functionality parts that you may not see or notice immediately. We have a gate that swings open right here, uh, as well as the mirrors, which can be folded in or out, depending on if you need the truck for a parked or a transport position. All right, now for the large mega corporation water tank. Mm -hmm. It will dump all the way back, and this is helped along by a series of three stage cylinders, one, two, and three. The dumping angle is excellent and depicts a realistic pose for the machine receiving some maintenance, for example. Unfortunately, none of the nozzles or spray bars are positional. Mm -hmm. uh, including these, which would have been nice for them to be able to move around. But that said, in conclusion, mm -hmm. if you are looking for a large water truck to complement your mining fleet of heavy equipment models at 150th scale, this is an excellent option for you. Of course, there are many water trucks that are of the articulated frame variety, but if you want a larger one based on a mining truck, this is one of only a few that are out in the market. Thank you all so much for watching. That will bring this episode of Diecast Emporium to a close. Let me know what you think about this model down in the comment section below. And if you take a look at your screen right now, you will find a suggested link for another recent Diecast Masters product review. Thanks again so much for watching. Until next time, take care, be well. I'll see you in the next review.